Well, I'm with my good friend Wayne at Lonesomeville Pottery. And Wayne, you know, I love coming out here because there's a beautiful garden. It's fall time. It is. And I know that you always are getting ready to feed the birds for the fall. I am. And so, but you have a good idea for us because you also have lovely birds that visit your garden, but you have way too many squirrels that come. So you've kind of figured out, you and Danny have figured out a way to kind of deter the squirrels, but, I have. but still feed the birds. Yes, I, ha I have a good idea. All right. Yes, it is. I saw it. It's over there. Wow. I can't recognize good ideas, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad to know I have a good one this year. But I do. Yes. Yeah, squirrels. Who wants those on your bird feeders? Those are awful things. So, well, not only that, through my method, you can have multiple bird feeders on the same... Oh, that's even better. Yeah, it is. Same something. I yeah, imagine. well, it's the same area. You can have it all in one area, area to watch. That's the word I was striving for. Yes. Those multi-syllabic words like area, area yes. are very difficult for me. And really, we all have um, tomato cages in our garden that maybe don't work at all for tomatoes because they're too little. Well, then what are you going to do with them at the end of the year? Right, you just have to store You've them. You've seen what those tomatoes look like. It's not pretty. <laughs> it isn't pretty. I don't know about you, but my tomatoes are not pretty this time of year. No, because no. it's fall. Yeah, well, okay, that's right. why. But you're going to turn it into something more functional. So what do we need for this, this great idea to have your feeders? You need a tomato cage. All right. And you need a Various collection tools. of tools. Okay. And it's simple. All you do is... First, you approach the tomato cage and you cut All right. the tomato cage. Ooh, ooh, it's oh, tough. It's person. like my cooking. It's just, uh. Okay. And then you just clearly cut it wherever you would like to cut it. Okay. Uh. Seriously, it's like something I've cooked. It's. <laughs> and so this is going to be the frame to hang the feeders from. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Excellent. I'm it's why you're around. You're super smart. You can see around corners. You're I so can. smart. I can. I can. It's ESP. No, you just need to see around corners. Now you're just taking it too far. All right. This idea came from Danny, which is a good idea number three he's had so far. <laughs> All the time you've known him. 30 years. Okay. That's one every 10 years. That's actually, <laughs> that's, pretty good. that's pretty good. You know, that's, uh, those are some numbers. He's a brilliant He's guy. practically double digits at this point. <laughs> By the time I'm like 50, he'll have like three good ideas. A couple more. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we're going to put this away. And so now we have part of the spine of what the What would you do page. with this? That's crazy. Yeah, we're going to turn And by the way, it. I clipped my fingernails just for this demonstration. <laughs> so. And now you're going to take a pliers. And now are you going to be then, creative? Well, you know, we'll see. All I'm right. not really going to. Let's hedge, hedge our bits. All right. It, so. And so why are you doing that? Just to make it pretty or is it going to be functional? Well, just like me, I think pretty and functional go hand in oh, hand. Oh, okay. And again, I shaved for this segment, so I'm actually quite pretty today. <laughs> you are pretty. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's important to All know. All right. And you look quite pretty today, well, too. thank you. Not just another pretty face. I shaved also. Did you? I did. Curl it. Why are you making this look as pretty as it's going to be? Because if you don't curl it, the bird feeders will just slide off, oh, okay. like the tendrils of a beautiful vine, ah. more or less. Well, it'll kind of blend into its surrounding in this beautiful garden. Oh, Wayne, it's Ta-da! Well, oh, I gosh. know, oh. I know. Oh, that was exhausting. <laughs> you were sweating. Oh, well, you know, anything for you, Judy. <laughs> so, you so, no, much. it's fine. It's... So the idea behind this was really to kind of put all the feeders in t together, but to also keep squirrels out, possibly. Yes, I can show you it being used. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really nice. I saw that over there hanging. And then Did you? also, can you, um, last year we made the suet feeders, so can you possibly hang the suet feeders too? We can. And uh -huh. you know, when you use suet feeders, you get suet? yellow <gasps> rumped warblers. warblers. And I've never Our heard of favorites. that bird. And if they get these birds, if anybody else gets those birds, it's very special that they come to your garden. So Okay, she thinks it's like an Andean condor or something <laughs> that like no one ever gets in their garden. So, oh, poor thing. Well, but Wayne, yes. okay, we have a project done and thank you so much for that. But something oh, else is going on at Lonesomeville Pottery this weekend. Yeah, we're having a sale, but to talk about that takes it away from me. So there's got to be a scroll down here or something <laughs> flipping around up here that'll tell you all about it. Call me, it's fine. It don't, don't worry about it, it's great, yeah. Uh, yeah, but we have a part, yeah, something. Well, you know, the fall sale is really beautiful to come out. You can see the gardens and see the beautiful skeletons beautiful out front. Skeletons. They're so cool. And Good check hand out all gestures. Of, yes. <laughs> and check out all the beautiful pottery inside the home beautiful. and studio. Beautiful. Meet everybody out here. Yes. Well, thanks so much for all the ideas. Oh, no. Thank you. 